Welcome back everybody, I'm the Blonde Fox, and today we're going to continue playing some more Genshin Impact. In the last episode, we were making our way through the chasm. We are tasked with going further in. I think last time we left off, I was actually down over here a bit, but then I ended the episode because I wanted to go fight the Rune Serpent. It didn't. A bit. Didn't. Didn't. Blah. Words. Wow. Tongue tied already. That's not a good start. Anyways, um, I went to go fight it a bit and everything and get Yalen worked up and whatnot, so I decided to end the episode and whatnot. Um, so between episodes, my uncle actually helped me play a bit, because he also plays the game. He helped me run the rune serpent a few times, so I got Yaelin up to level 60, so yay. Uh, I bet Dovin care too many, so I got her up to level 60. I also got her weapon up to level 70, and then I was also able to level up some of her talents, so she's pretty good to go. He also helped me work on Zhongli a bit, so I got him up to level 70. I didn't have enough, uh, level up materials to level him up to 80, so he is at 70 but can go up to 80. But so I got him up there, his weapon's still at 70, and I got some of his talents leveled up and everything, so he is good to go as well. So sadly, Venti's off the team for now, we're gonna run Galen on the team. I've been running a little bit while doing dailies, and it's actually working pretty well, so I think we're gonna go with this for now, but we might have to play with it a bit more. But that's pretty much it, so we're gonna continue through the chasm with our new team setup. I'm so excited to be using Galen, I love her so much. But anyways, remember to like the video if you like and subscribe if you want to see more. Without further ado, let's get right to it. Okay, so we're supposed to jump down here, right? And sadly, our little thing isn't leveled up enough to do anything about those. Um, actually, no, wait, it says we need to be... No, we need to go down, yeah, because we got to go through the tunnel down here, right? Yeah. But then we got to go down and then up again? No, 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 it's down and straight forward. It just was up. It looked like it was up for some reason. Okay. Yeah, so we started to come through here, and then I decided to turn around. Ooh, that's a big guy. Yeah, we went through here. That's right. We went through here, and that's whenever we found the mushroom obsessed dude thing, right? Yeah. I'm not looking forward to having to fight you. Haha, ha, but if you stay out of the goop, you're not going to be as hard. Ah, I love Galen. So useful. Stabilize. Go. Yeah, this guy's oh, not going to stand a chance. Quiet, man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Chase me if you can. As you wish, main foil. Ah. Go, Zhongli. Drop the rock. Yeah, look at that damage. Good damage. And I didn't really do much, but oh well. These guys are really tough, so I'm not that concerned. Gotcha. Go for it. To get dicey. Oh, yeah, look at all that. And then with Zhongli's shield on us, we're perfectly fine. Also, she has a ton of health, because a lot of her moves scale up of her health, so it's all about having as much health as possible. Yeah, look at that. Shredded that guy once I got her burst up. Ugh. I love her so much. I am so glad I have her on the team. Take it easy. Okay, so we gotta get through here. And the range on our thing really sucks. That's something I found during the Rune Serpent fights, is because I'm so used to my personal one where it's like, oh, I have the, the thing all the way upgraded. And so it has a really long range on it as you upgrade it. It's like, right now, look at this, whenever I activate it, it's got such a tiny range on it. It's pathetic. <laughs> oh, right here in front of me. Cool, we got another one. So we want to get this thing leveled up as quick as possible, because it's going to be a pain in the butt to fight other stuff later, too, if we don't have uh, the ability to valuables. use it from far away, because having to get up in the gooch is really clues. dangerous. I thought that was Corlap, that I could grab, I guess it's not. I keep getting confused about that. Whoa, what the heck is that? Oh, that's cool. Lumenstone only started springing up like mushrooms within the chasm after the miners discovered this thing. This is definitely no coincidence. From the way it floats in its damaged state, it really does look like the fragments that Iris said existed on Dragonspine. And yeah, I'm talking about those floating fragments that you found earlier. Who knows, they might also be an inexorably... An exorb? I've never heard that word before. Inexorably attracted to unite with large fragments somewhere. Perhaps some nameless ancient civilization sleeps under our feet, just like the ancient catacombs on Dragonspine. What do you think? Well, all we know if we go deeper within... The changes to the geological structure of the chasm have been accelerating. Black substance that you see covering the rocks only started showing up everywhere recently. I can't be sure, but I think that these things are all related. The mud, the flowing light, and this floating crystal fragment. Hmm, why would you think that? Well, that's because they all make me feel sort of... queasy? It's like getting motion sick on a carriage, or like losing your sense of direction on a ship in a storm. Eh, really? Paimon feels alright. If you don't feel so good, we can return to camp first. Thanks for your concern, but I'm fine. 
I've had my fair share of bouts of vertigo or seasickness. I'll be okay. Don't push yourself more than you should, alright? Mm-hmm, thanks. Ah, yes, have you noticed? There are three strange devices around this crystal... thing. Oh, yeah, around this crystal thing. We should probably investigate them. What do you think? Okay, cool. We missed a path back there, though, didn't we? Oh, sweet, we unlocked this part of the map, at least. Cool. Okay, so there's those we need to... Ooh, I gotta all turn around there for a second. I want to go back up this way, because wasn't there a side path that we could have taken right back here? Or no, no, we were going towards a crystal. Also, I think there was a side path, right? This is one of the benefits to Yaelin. You don't have to sprint. <laughs> Save time and stamina. Okay, I wanted to go see this. Can we open these yet? Take it easy. Oh, hey there, little fella. Thank you for the meat. Quietly now. There we go. Rise. Yeah, she still needs to work on some of her damage. I have really crappy artifacts on her right now. Like, they're not horrible, but they're not uh, the best set for her. But the fact that she's still doing as much damage as she's doing, even with a crappy setup, I'm very pleased. <laughs> again, she is such a great character. If her rerun ever comes around again, I highly recommend you get Galen. I, I know I've said that before, like, she's so good. But also, though, she she has a very, like, a playstyle that I very much enjoy. It's kind of like Yaimiko. Yaimiko's an amazing character. But if you don't like her playstyle, she's not a character I could recommend you because she's one of those she plays kind of funny. Nope, I didn't think so. We need a higher level to open this. Yeah. Oh, uh, well. Okay, let's get back to where we were. Okay. Yeah, we have a couple of wishes we can make, too, which hopefully we'll be able to get Sino, because his banner ends, I think, today. So, and I was really hoping to get him, because we could. I was thinking of uh, replacing Fischl with him as our main DPS. I don't know, though. Okay, where is this crystal? You know, helpful thinking. Okay, is it up above? Or down below, no. Okay, it doesn't look like it's up above, so it's either down this path or it's right below us or something like that. Ah, there it is, perfect. I wonder how close I am to the next one. I needed eight, right? It's eight of these, I think. And I only have two because I just upgraded it. Okay, so we're good. Uh, let's see. Okey-dokey. I don't know why I decided to grab that just for some reason. Wow, 10,000 more out of that thing? Okay, never mind. I'm glad I grabbed that thing. Usually they only drop like, you know, it's like, oh, 10 more or like 100 more. But that, okay, that was actually really good. <laughs> wow, that sent us way up into the air. Thank you. We grab you. Okay. So we need to take you out. I don't know what that blue fountain -y thing is. We need to get... Oh, there's another crystal, too. Is it... Oh, there it is over there. Okay, it looks like there's the jump pad for it. So, yeah, we need to go that way. There's one of those things right here below us. So, we'll grab this first, and then we'll head over that way. I want to know what this thing is over here, though. Have I messed with these before? Okay, no, they just refill your thing if it's low. Whoa, okay, I was actually wanting to read that. <laughs> The Lumistone Adjuvant reaches a certain level. You can actively use this power to destroy using concentration. No, not concentration. Uh, concretions. And the Dark Mud nearby. Some level 2 using concretions are significantly tougher and will need a stronger Lumistone. Yeah. That we already kind of knew. Oh, is my not strong enough? No, oh, okay, it is. I guess we gotta destroy it over there, not over here. Seriously, I don't have enough energy. You, destroy my energy. I didn't realize I ran out already. Here we go. Okay, it takes three energy to turn this on. Oh, okay, there's one right there. <laughs> okay, that light now flows into there. Awesome, so that's one down. Here we go, get rid of that. Oh, dude. I will have right into my face. Wasn't very nice of you. Wheel of life. I'll drop Oz just so as soon as I bring the shield down. Busted. 
Okay, let's get Chi Chi in here to get some healing going. There we go. Heal up my whole team. We thought I had Oz available. Yeah, we'll just do that. Come, sever night from day. Uh huh. Yeah, it's definitely easier now. <laughs> okay, we'll get you. I'm gonna get you. Awesome. Take it easy. Okay, so recharged and rare to go. Um, I went to get this thing up here first. Ooh, this thing is making some eerie noises. Okay, where's the source? Ah, is this it? Yeah, this is it. Oh, no, that's not it. Huh. Okay. Well, let's get some air and get up and over. Yeah, it's in there. Okay. Ah, but I can activate this to restore our stuff. Does it push back the muck? No, it does not. That kind of sucks, but oh well. That oh well. Quietly now. Go. Haha, <laughs> frozen. Oz, reveal Just let it go, guys. <laughs> okay. Not time for bad jokes, right? Right. Here we go. So now we can go activate this. There we go. That's number two. Just one left. Refill, please. Thank you. Ooh, big bad guy. Gotcha. Here comes the cash. By royal decree. Order guide you. Gonna go all out on this guy. Solidify. I probably should have used hers last, but oh well. What? He has like one hit left and he's dead. Come on. There we go. Only a couple hits left. Sweet. Is it gonna like rebuild itself? Is it gonna disappear? What is it? Ooh, pretty. Or is it just gonna glow bright? I wonder if that's gonna help like reduce some of the ooze and stuff. Whoa! Okay, was not ready for you. Hi! How are you? Orders given. Orders received. Rise. I didn't mean to do that. I was trying to switch to Jean Lee, but okay then. Sorry, person. Not the right time to join me. I totally missed with that shot. That's bad. Quietly now. Yeah, you go with that idea. Solidify. Midnight Phantasmagoria. Go. Busted. Gotcha. Grant me new life. Yeah, freeze him, Chi Chi. Stabilize. No <laughs> He's Beyblade and all over the place. Shoot Oz. Yeah, thundering retrib retribution shots. That's oh, fine. Dang it, I was really hoping I would have had officials up. Oh well. Man, this guy's gonna take a while to go down. I'm not too worried damage-wise, he's really not that tough. It's just a stupid shield of his. The end is nigh. Life goes on. Quietly now. Shadow Raven, let night fall! Time. Hey. Hey. Come on, anytime now. Okay, let's drop the rock. Order. Yeah, good damage. Gather. Gotcha. 
by royal decree. Okay, Oz, uh, thundering retribution. Solidified. Nice. Eh, he's almost dead. Quietly now. What's the Alvinus Crystal gonna do? Is it gonna explode or repair itself? It exploded, okay. Not like, well, it exploded, but it just like released stuff. Oh! Nope, it exploded. <laughs> Phew, that's better. Much better. The air <sighs> suddenly got a whole lot cleaner. A thing flew away and blasted a path open for us. Whoa, you scared us. It's almost like you had a case of terminal acidity. Paimon, don't you mean terminal lucidity? Oh, yeah, sure. Just focus on Paimon and stuff. By the way, terminal lucidity is not used this way. Shouldn't we be more concerned about Zhichong? <laughs> I'm fine now. I was just suffering from maladjustments a moment ago, so I might have looked pretty frightening, but I'm fine now. Please don't worry. It's like how people might feel faint due to the thinned air if they climb a very high mountain for the first time, or find it hard to breathe in deep waters. These are all small problems, things very every good adventure must overcome. No problem at all, really. Small problem says the person who talks about them so dramatically. You shouldn't get too close to the crystal all the same. Also, don't watch from so close when we're fighting. Just look at the state you're in already. I'll be fine, really. Don't you underestimate me. That's what adventurers should be like. They should walk with death and consider deadly peril a friend. We fear neither death nor danger. So, <clears throat> this is nothing I can't handle. What are you even talking about? It's nothing. Please don't worry about me. <clears throat> Not a few paces away from where you nearly collapsed and you're talking nonsense again. That's right. We're talking about something different altogether. Stop being stubborn and go back to the surface to rest. No, please. <laughs> Listen to me. They're not different. They're the same thing. What just happened was just a small setback. I can overcome it for sure. The environment here is no harsher than that of Mary Shivari. Please don't laugh at me, but I think I'm much inferior to Stanley and Adventures. But I don't think. Okay, yeah. Then ordinary people like me can do some, can do the same as those seasoned adventurers, just with some extra grit. That's what I believe. I will persist no matter what, and I'll do my best not to be a burden to you. Just silence. Then let Paimon ask you a question. Earlier, when you came into contact with that black, muddy, smelly stuff, do you did you feel uncomfortable like this too? Kinda. It wasn't that serious. Don't try to downplay it. Give us an honest answer. Well, yes, but just like this time, I just need to tough it out, you know? It was nothing serious. This person has got to be the king of the land of understatements. How can you be sure that you won't be in mortal danger if exposed to it for too long? It may feel better if you go back to the camp and take a rest. I can't. This expedition has just got it inciting, you know? I don't want to slow us down. The other people on this expedition need you to lead the way for them. That's right. Jin Wu, Kadai, and the others still need you to guide them. If you run off by yourself into the depths, who's going to lead the way for them? You can guide them and steer them clear of any hazardous areas. But... But... No worries, we'll be fine. Okay, I understand. Do you really? Um, I'll go back to camp and guide them through a safe path clear of the dark mud as we go deeper into the chasm. Sorry, I was being too stubborn. You better keep your promises and hold your horses and stay clear of dangerous places. Alright, I get it, I'll do as you say. That's the spirit. Fox, let's head off. Ooh, sweet gave us primo gems. What's this? Oh, it's Luminstone Ore. Sweet, that means we can upgrade. Well, once we get enough uh, crystal thingies, anyways. Oh, let's climb up higher. That is one thing, without having Benji on the team, I don't have my exploration buddy, but Yaelin's really good, though. So I think it's worth it. Okay, where is this? Is it up above us? 
Slow moving camera. Nope, it looks like it's going to be down below us. Before we do that, though, is there anything else I missed down here? So I'm going to make sure I got everything in this cavern before I move forward. Okay, there's just a treasure chest over there, which I'm not that concerned with. Um, I'm going to clear you out. Okay, it's not looking like there's any other crystals popping up. And then that's back up where we came from. So, nope, we're good. Okay, sweet. So then, oh, it looks like there's an activation -y thingy over there, but eh, we're fine. We'll go ahead and just go down. Okay, so it says, there it is. There's the crystal. Drop below. Grab that. Thank you very much. Gotta take this nice and slow, because if I just let myself fall, I'm gonna splat right on the side of this mountain. Well, cavern side, not mountain. We're inside of a cavern. Duh. Ooh. This looks dangerous. What the? It's a city? A whole city that's floating in the air! Upside down? I'm at a loss for words. Just look at this place. Doesn't it remind you of something? W wait, what was it again? The defiled statue. Yes! Just like that. Just as strange, just as upside down, and just as spooky. In which case, maybe whatever is going on in the chasm really is connected to the Abyss Order. Oh, we gotta get to the bottom of this. Uh, oh? Hmm. Dane's sleeve. The feeling is mutual. I certainly hadn't expected to meet you here, either. Long time no see, Dane. Wait, but how did you suddenly end up here in the chasm? The chasm? So we're in the depths of the chasm, are we? Interesting. This is one place where I have never set foot before. I have a lot of questions for you. I understand how you must feel. Last time we met suddenly and parted hastily. Now our paths cross again. Fate, it seems, owes you an explanation. What was going on with that portal just now? That much should be self-explanatory. I came upon the trail of another Abyss Herald recently and began pursuing it. Unfortunately, I got as far as cornering him before he resorted to the same trick that they all do. I was hot on his heels when I followed him through the portal, but as usual, it was to no avail. It took me to the wrong place. So you didn't actually catch up with my sister last time. Correct. Based on my recent experiences, I can only conclude that the Abyss's portals are not simply pathways from point A to point B, but gateways to an entire network. Where they emerge on the other side is their choice. It can be anywhere within the network. Sounds kind of similar to how teleport waypoints work. In short, though I was right behind your twin last time when I entered that portal, the next moment that I realized where I was, I was all alone, back in the ruins known as Storm Terror's Lair. Oh, yeah! About that! Whatever happened to the Eye of the First Field Tiller? It's in a safe place. You can be sure that I will learn the truth of the Loom of Fate operation sooner than it could ever fall into the Abyss Order's hands. So, who is the Twilight Sword? Huh. <laughs> so that title stuck in your memory. I by no means went out of my way to conceal it from you. It once stood for the glory of Kanria. But now, it is but a cruel joke. My curse to bear. Twilight Sword was my title as Captain of the Royal Guards, when I witnessed the destruction of my entire homeland firsthand. I believe my reluctance to raise it in conversation is quite justified. Sounds like your sister was right. What happened between you? We were travel partners. We both partook in a painful journey of searching for our fate. But regrettably, we did not make it to the journey's end together. The journey's end? Before you continue questioning me, 
I ought to warn you. If my suspicions regarding the portal network are correct, then the fact that there is a portal leading here tells us that the Abyss Order has their eyes on this location. You mean the Abyss Order is plotting something here? Actually, Paimon and the Traveler suspected that too. I mean that it's highly likely that even as we speak, the Abyss Order is watching our every move. <gasps> Don't say that! You're giving Paimon goosebumps! I'll trust you for now. <laughs> A wise choice. Hmm. There appears to be light from a fire coming from near that rocky wall. Let's take a look. Okie dokie. Was not expecting him to just pop out of nowhere. But okay, so that that explains what the quest was, because I was like, I couldn't remember what the quest was, uh whatchamacallit. Oop, not that direction, uh this direction. There we go. The which one is it? Yeah, this one. Requiem of the Echoing Depths, because it said, like, run into a familiar face or something like that, or was it how it started? I was just like, what, what does that mean? Now I know what it meant. Okay. But anyways, um, we're gonna go ahead and end this episode here. I thought about going and grabbing that, but we're fine. We'll end the episode here, and in the next one, we'll go collect that, and then we'll go ahead and see what Dane is up to. We also, how close are we to having enough? Um, I only need three more crystals. Well, two more after I get that one. So, yeah, we're getting close to being able to upgrade it to the next level so then we can, uh, maybe take down some of these, uh, level two stuff. But anyways, we're going to do our wishes to end off. So we have a few here and a few standard ones. So are you guys ready? Three, two, one, go! Okay, what are we gonna get? Ooh, okay, purple. What do we get? Ooh, the flute. Okay, that's actually a pretty good sword, actually, if I'm being honest. So, that's not bad. What's funny is I actually, I run that on my Chi-Chi on my personal one, so that's kind of ironic. But I think I have the sword that I have on Chi-Chi now is actually better for her, but I don't know. I'll look into that. Okay, so that wasn't too bad. Okay, here we go. One more. Three, two, one, go. And nothing. That's perfectly fine, though. Okay, and then we got a few standard wishes. So, are you guys ready? Three, two, one, go. <gasps> no freaking way, what? I got Deluke! Oh my gosh, and I was just complaining about not having a good pyro character. Oh my gosh! Are you freaking kidding me? We were only like 20 wishes in, if that, on our standard banner. Holy freaking crap, guys. Oh, I just blew my mic out, I think, but oh my gosh. Gosh, yes! Oh, okay. Oh, that's gonna be fun. Now I gotta work on building him up, and I have, like, no uh, Claymore weapons, but, oh, I'm so excited for that. I love to loop. Okay, that's cool. Well, we gotta do our other two wishes. I know they're not gonna be as good as that, but, hey, awesome. Okay. Three, two, one, go. Ooh, I'm, like, all worked up now. Yeah, I'm, like, these next two wishes don't really matter. They're just, we need to use them up, right? Right. And three, two, one, go. At first I thought it was just gonna be purple. It was just like, and then I saw it keep changing. It was just like, there's no way that that, that shouldn't have happened. Right? Cause I'm, I'm pretty sure we didn't have that many. Let's see, when was our last? Cause that was on our first one for that. So let's see, when was our last? Let's see, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, our last five star was less than 10. It was exactly 10 wishes ago from that one. Because it, that was that would have been nine, and then the one we just made was the tenth. That's insane. That is insane. Exactly ten wishes from our last five star. That's crazy. I have never had that good of luck before. Go ahead and buy these. Okay, we'll do one last wish, but oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm just going for it. I'm just like again. There's nothing that's gonna top that. There, there doesn't matter what they are. Oh my gosh. Woo. Okay, guys, well, on that absolutely freaking fantastic, amazing, wonderful note, we got Deluke. Oh, awesome. I'm going to have... Uh, it's going to take a while to build him up properly, but that's cool. We might actually run him instead of Fischl, possibly, as a main DPS character on our team. That could be fun. Oh, if I had Uin with Nah uh, Nahida, him, and Yalen, that would be a really good team, too. Oh, I got so many ideas. But yeah, like I said, I don't think I have that many... Uh, Claymores, like purple claymores. 
Actually, no, I've been saving. That's right, I've been saving them up because I haven't been uh, refining them, so that way I could have multiple. Yeah, we got. I actually could possibly build them up pretty good. Okay, anyways, guys, thank you all so much for watching. If you liked the video, remember to like it. Comment down below with your thoughts and opinions. I look forward to hearing from you guys. And remember to subscribe if you want to see more from me in the future. Until next time, see ya!